In this tutorial I'm going to show how you can create various frames in Scrapbook Artist. Now I'm going to start by showing a few examples of the types of frames that you might find in other people's kits that you want to convert into your own. Now you can add frames using the DigiKit Creator but I'm going to do it a different way here. I've actually added some frames to my Photos tab that I've got from another kit. Now there's a few main types of frames that you might find that you get. The first one is very simple. If I drag this photo on here this is a fully transparent PNG, so it has a hole here already for my photo. Now to convert that into a scrapbook artist frame, it's very straightforward. All I need to do is open up my frames tab, and then I can just simply drag this in. Now I'll just delete this on my page. And now when I drag this frame back out again, you'll find if you go back to photos and drag a photo in it, that photo will now automatically snap to fit in that frame. So let's look at the next example. In this example it's the same frame but this time it's not actually a transparent image. We actually just have a white space here where our photo needs to be. But again if I open up my frames tab and drag this one in, Scrapbook Artist will actually detect that it doesn't have a blank space for an image so the first thing it will do is actually open up the frame editor and this is effectively exactly the same as the cutout studio and here I can select the areas in the same way that I would do with cutout studio that I want to get rid of and once I'm happy with that I click OK and again now when I drag that frame back out and it's the second one here the cutout studio has removed the white areas of the frame and again if I was to grab my photo and drop it in it now snaps to fit as before. Now in this next example it starts to get a little bit more tricky. So this particular frame actually has two holes. We have a hole here and obviously this is the hole we want our photo to go in but we've also got a hole here at the top. So if we go back to the frames tab we will drag this one into frames and now when we drag that frame back out and I go back to my photos tab I'll drag the photo in as you can see that hasn't actually given us the result that we want because we only want the photo in this part of the frame but of course Scrapbook Artist doesn't actually know which hole you want to put your photo in so it assumes that it wants to spread the image over both holes which is what it's done there so let me just take the photo out again now it is possible to edit the areas that Scrapbook Artist thinks that the photo needs to go into and this involves looking at the Layers tab. So if I look at the Layers tab, I'm working on Layer 1, you might need to expand this and it will also show you any objects that are on Layer 1 and this is the frame that I'm working on here. Now I can also expand the frame object and you can see that that has two items associated with it. It has the bitmap and this is effectively the graphic that is making up the frame and it also has something called a poly curve. Now the poly curve is actually the area where Scrapbook Artist is going to put the photo in the frame. And as you can see from this little preview, it has a square in the main area of the photo and it also has that little triangular area at the top. Now I can actually edit that poly curve simply by using the erase tool. So I need to select it first, so select it on the layers tab so it's highlighted like that and then I can go to the top and get my erase tool and what I want to do is just erase this part of the poly curve at the top and I can do that simply by dragging my eraser tool over it and as you can see now this closed curve has got rid of the triangle at the top and it now just has the main rectangle that we want you can also adjust the size slightly of the poly curve so if I select that again you can see that I've got these little handles around the outside so I might just make that a little bit bigger because remember the photo is going to go under the frame so there's no harm in making it slightly bigger than the frame itself and now if I go back to my photo and drag it on the photo now just snaps into the area that I wanted it no longer goes into this triangular area at the top now to save the changes that you've made to that frame you need to go back to the frames tab I'm going to delete the one that was wrong and I'm going to drag this new one in there and now every time I drag that frame out the 
poly curve is always on the area that I want. Now all the frames that I've shown so far have got an entirely enclosed area. In other words, there's a boundary that's going around the entire perimeter of the photo. Now of course some frames in scrapbooking aren't necessarily like that and it is possible with Scrapbook Artist to create frames like that. So let me delete this. I'm going to bring a material on here and get my scissors out. I'm just going to cut two corners off. So here I want to create a frame that is literally just these two little corner pieces but when I drop a photo on it fills this area here. So the first thing to do is to drag this into the frames tab. I'm going to delete these objects from my page and then drag this back out again. Now Scrapbook Artist again has had a go at creating a poly curve for this frame and again using the layers tab I can expand the frame and have a look at the closed curve that it's created. As you can see as it happens the curve that is created is just over this bottom right hand corner and that isn't where we want it. We want it all the way around here. Now the easiest way to do this is to actually just simply draw a new poly curve for the frame altogether. So I'm going to select a quick shape of a rectangle. I'm going to draw the rectangle on top of my frame in the position that I want the photo to go. I'll just make that red so it's easier to look at. Now if I go back to the Layers tab, we can see that that quick rectangle that I've drawn is an object on Layer 1. It's not actually part of the frame, it's a separate object altogether. Now what I need to do is make this rectangle part of the frame. So I need to drag it down, and I'm actually going to put it in under the bitmap of the frame. And the final thing to do is to remove the previous closed curve that Scrapbook Artist had created automatically. So I'm going to select that, right click on it, and delete. Now by performing that action, Scrapbook Artist has now decided that the quick rectangle is what it wants to use as the poly curve. And you can see with that selected that that's covering the area that I want my photo to be dropped into. So now if I go back to my Photos tab and drag this photo onto the frame, we can see that that photo is now snapped to fit within this frame in the right position. Now again, to save the changes that I've made to that frame, I need to go back to the Frames tab. I need to delete the first one that I added in there, because that's wrong. And then drag the new one back in. And again, every time I drag this frame out, it will always work exactly how I want it to. Now once you've finished creating all of the frames that you want, if you go to the DigiKit Creator, you can actually see that all those frames are already in there, ready to be saved into a kit. And of course you can go through and add embellishments, backgrounds and other elements you want to include in your kit, and then click Save DigiKit when you're done.